Smooth Silk Wilk. Thank you for the hammer. Appreciate it. It is a 12-team Superflex half PPR start 10. Team is T-Law, Watson, Minshew, James Cook, Swift, Rojo, Chuba Hubbard, Warren. And then at wide receiver, DJ Moore, London, Waddle, Alave, Nico, Dio John, and JSN. At tight end, Goddard, Ferguson. And then pick-wise, 25 second, third, a 26 first, and 326 seconds. So the second part is give Alave and Kendra, get Kirk slash Stidham. So get Kirk or Stidham. I guess I'm not positive. Let's assume we're getting both. Um, and two early to mid 25 first. Activity is high, won the ship, and proceeded to make eight trades in 15 days. Well, nicely done. I appreciate the uh, I appreciate the hustle. So gave that. It looks like it hasn't been done yet. Give a lot a get to, I mean, getting too early to mid 25 first. Let, let's see if it makes sense for this team. T law Watson, Minshew. Okay. Running back. Fine. Fine ish. Yeah. We'll go with it. DJ Moore. I think you have enough. I think you have enough firepower at wide receiver to be able to pull this off. Uh, you did say it was a high activity league. So if you think you could do, some good stuff with those early to mid 25 first, maybe allocated elsewhere. Like, could you take one of those first and tack it on to, I don't know, Watson and see if you can get a better quarterback, something along those lines. I like the, I like the ability to have two 25 first because you don't have a single one in the fact the activity level is high. That makes a difference for me. What are we thinking in the comments guys? Would you go Alave and um, yeah, what was it? Alave and Kendra or Kirk Cousins, Stidham, and two early to mid 25 first. Does anybody go in the Alave side with this team? Seems like he's got a, uh, a pretty stacked wide receiver room. Okay, let's keep going here. Hope everyone's well. I am live from my parents' house visiting them this weekend. So, hey, let's hit some dynasty trades, right? Third, cl third class alien. Thank you for the hammer. Appreciate it. It is a 10-team Superflex PPR start nine, so a shallow one. And I should say, too, if you're new or um, could use a refresh, when we say start nine, start 10, what we're talking about is the number of players you start each week, not including kicker and defense. So if it's a start eight, start nine, those are shallow. Start 10 is kind of our baseline right in the middle. Start 11, 12, that's when you're getting deeper. Okay. So 10 team start nine super flex. Allen hurts Lamar. Well, that's a powerhouse right there. ETN, James Cook, Ramondre, Roshan, Bigsby. And then at wide receiver, JJ, Amon Ra, Jaden Reed, Kirk, Downs. Andrews Kincaid at tight ends and has the 102. Says champ, congrats. What moves would help me repeat? What to do with the 102? Well, that's always nice when you're the champ and you have the 102. I'm just going to assume quarterback wise that he hasn't had luck moving one of those. Um, it is a 10 team. If it were a 12 team, I'd be more along the, the Scott Connor uh, kind of tradition of just ho hoarding, hoarding elite QB. Shane tends to be the opposite, but I I'm just going to assume he's having trouble moving one of those quarterbacks. And also I would say, let's, let's say you were just shopping Lamar. Make sure you put all of them on the block. Let the market tell you what uh what they want. So what are you going to do with this 102? Obviously, you don't need quarterback. You, in terms of wide receiver, I would just take a wide receiver, whatever you like between neighbors and uh and a dunze. I was looking at the mock draft database, and it looks like one of those two is projected to go to the New York Giants, as you can imagine. And I just think that's going to be seen by the market as such a gross landing spot. But yeah, I mean, if I have to pick, I'm taking a, I'm taking a wide receiver there. Full PPR, and you do have J.J. Amon-Ra, but then Jaden Reed, you're not exactly stacked at wide receiver. So that's what I'm doing. Yeah, I would be flexible, though. Move back a couple spots. You said you're the defending champ. Move back, stay inside the, the 105, 106 range, let's say. Pick up a 25 first. That's how you keep dynasties going. Thank you for that hammer. Appreciate it. Let's go to Gabe MC with the two hammers. Thank you very much. 
This is a 12 team super flex start nine PPR traded London and the 112 for the projected 101 next year plus the 210 this year. The guys' team is Purdy, Howell, Singletary, Spears, London, Christian Watson, Tony Kincaid. <laughs> he said, very bad. And I saw the opportunity to capitalize on the London hype. Currently own the 101 through 104. So I'll be replacing London with Marvin Harrison Jr. and neighbors. Yet yeah, the fact that, I mean, so in a 12-team Superflex start nine, that 112, it's a total crapshoot, right? Drake London, let's call him being worth... I don't know. The market seems to like him at least like the 107. Um, that is such a cheap way to get up to 101 for for next year. I'm I'm down. I, I want to get my hands on that on that first lock up. Uh, yeah, lock up that first for 25. If you've got the uh, you didn't name your team, but I, I assume you have no problems replacing London in the uh, in the 112. Go with it. Go with it. Let's see. Needs hammers. What's good, homie? What's up, everyone? <laughs> Cole, Cole says, nice, Clay. Enjoy, dude. I guess he's talking about me being at my parents' house. Yeah, yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, it's nice to visit them, though. They're literally at a magic show right now. Let's go to R. Kelly, 521. Thank you for the hammer. It is a 10-team Superflex PPR start 10. Has Burrow, Purdy, and trash cans at quarterback. Has Javante, and that's it at running back. Lamb, JJ, Waddle, Higgins, Jaden Reed, Hollywood Brown. And then at tight end, Schultz. Has the 105, 108, 109, all the futures, plus a 25 first. The question is, how should I deploy my draft picks? Thinking I need to try to trade for a hammer running back, and definitely more depth. Was also thinking a good tight end value like Ingram would be nice. The activity level in this league is high. And so the reason we have activity high and, and it's not in other questions, when you go to buymeacoffee.com slash trades in five, that's where you can get your quote unquote hammers answered, your dynasty trades. But up at the top, there's a Google form that you fill out. And that's one of the uh, one of the data points we collect. Okay, so back to this. He's wondering how to deploy the draft picks. And he's got 105, 108, 109. It's definitely a shallow league, 10 teams start 10. Burrow, Purdy, and trash cans. That's that's fine. That's fine. An attempt ten team as long as you have volume. Uh, Javante and trash cans at running back. I'm not worried about the starting lineup on March 22nd, right? So that's so that's fine. Seeing running backs is seeing only one running back listed is uh is not that big of a deal this time of year. Lamb, J.J. Waddle, Higgins, Jaden Reed, Marquise Brown. You have a nice little stable of wide receivers there. 105, 108, 109. He says he thinks he should trade for a hammer running back and definitely more depth. Can he win with this? Can he win with this team? Uh, I don't know if he has enough firepower, but yeah, if he can get like a Christian McCaffrey on this team. Crowd. <laughs> hashtag friday clay um crowd what do you think here can this team win can this team win if it buys like two players yeah we'll see what the uh we'll see what the crowd thinks um with the 105 108 and 9 i would not mind taking that 8 and 9 and seeing how high i can get up like can i get up to the 104 and so I've got the 104, 105 in that case. You can take, you've already, you're already good at wide receiver, but you can never have enough good young wide receivers, right? I would be super flexible. You could also attach, I mean, shit, you could buy Christian McCaffrey. Can you get him for that single 108? You know, or the, or the 109? I always like starting with the 108 as opposed to offering my my worst pick and still picking in front of um, him or her. So I would be trying to, yeah, I'm cool with buying a hammer running back, but you can also always go the route of just trying to get a, uh, you know, Aaron Jones or James Conner is always using that same conversation. That's definitely a When I'm solo on StreamYard, I go, I go dead here. 
Okay, Shane. Oh, you're welcome to come in here, by the way. 10 minute mark. Okay, so yeah, I I'd I'd like to get another I'd like to get another hammer. I'm not sweating moving to get a running back right now. I'm being flexible. You could always move that 109 for another 25 first, but if you want to make a run, I don't know if you quite have the firepower at at quarterback. Can you turn Purdy into you know more of a crooked number guy? Um, Shane says, <laughs> "Gonna get a smoke and I'll jump in." Sounds good. Ah, uh, this one's tough for me. This one's tough for me, but I like where you're at. I I would try to move the the eight and nine, see how high up I can get. I would definitely talk to the Josh Allen manager. I don't know if Purdy can can get you up there. Maybe it would have to be Burrow. But it is a 10 team. Oh no, I'm being I'm being flexible with this team. I like how you're grounded in young, good wide receivers. Uh, I'll have to uh I'll have to leave this this banner up and see if Shane has a has a very convicted opinion one way or another. Let's go to Brian Mormon. I had missed we had missed his hammer apparently. No hammers left behind. What did I name name this? No trades left behind. Thank you for your hammer, Brian. It is a 10-team Superflex start 11, no tight end premium. Sent Herbert, the 110, and 210. Got Kyler and the 105. Currently working on maybe getting up to 101 if possible. The 101 owner put in the chat he'd move for the right package, but he's ghosted since. Okay, so going back here, 10-team Superflex start 11. That's such great. You got great value for Herbert. Herbert is definitely, um, yeah, he's he's getting a getting a bad rap right now. It's probably not the best way to say it. His value is depressed right now, but you got full value plus for him. That 105 is a is a legit pick. So yeah, I mean, I think it's I think it's great. I think I remember him saying in the email, you guys can trash or praise that trade. I don't know many people who would trash that trade unless you are a players over process person and you love uh, Justin Herbert. So nicely done, man. The one-on-one owner put it. Da, da, da. Okay. Yeah. If he's ghosted, keep saying hi to the one-on-one manager. Always keep it, always keep in touch with that manager. Right. But yeah, nicely done on that. Uh, you're playing with some house money on that, on that Kyler Herbert trade. Okay. Let's go to Tanner here. Thank you for the hammer. Appreciate it. It is a 12 team super flex start nine, half PPR, full PPR for tight ends. Quarterbacks are Burrow, Kyler, and Derek Carr. Okay, solid. Wide receivers, Waddle, Higgins, DK Metcalf. Running back, Spears, Kendra Miller, and Trash Cans. Tight end, Laporta, Chig, and Picks. Look at Ty at backstage. What's up, sir? Um, let's go to this one right here. 102 is Marvin Harrison Jr. 105 will be QB3 or wide receiver three. Am I a good draft away from contending? If so, take wide receiver three or QB3 with this roster at 105. Uh, then he's got another part to it. So I'm just going to leave that for now. Okay, 12-team Superflex start nine. So pretty shallow. Quarterbacks are fine. Wide receivers are definitely thin, but you do have the 102 and 105. You said Marvin Harrison Jr. <laughs> Marvin Harrison Jr. is 102. So you've already sharpied that in. And then 105 will be, yeah, QB3 or wide receiver. I would lean wide receiver. I'm not pressed to address quarterback with, with this team at all. So I would be trying to get more wide receivers on here. A little, little bit thin there. Running back again, we'll address that later, closer to the season when we're setting lineups. Plus, you have that 112, 205, 208. There's there's gonna be some nice players there. So I think you're I think you're in great shape. Tight ends, Laporta, Chig. That's straight. It's a mini tight end premium, but Laporta's still a positional difference maker. So good squad here. He said, thought about trading Burrow for da, 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 T Law and CD Lamb. Hmm. Ty, let's bring let's bring Ty in here. Let's do the let's do the two screen. Ty, what's up, buddy? How are we doing? How are we doing? Hello, everybody out there. Hi, Clay. I thought Did... I saw you up here just chatting. I figured you might want someone else to chat with while uh while Shane gets smoky. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, appreciate it, dude. I didn't know if Scott was like, "Hey, Ty, get on there, get on there, please." Oh no, no, this is a fully. <laughs> I, I was just recording a roster review, actually. Get get a yes, roster review, so I was ready to go. So yeah, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. I saw you in there live for a while, and I was like, "He's doing too thorough and good of a roster review." Damn it, Ty. I, I tried. I try to keep it under an hour, Clay. I try. <laughs> what do you think about this Burrow for T Law and C D Lamb? I mean, just in a vacuum, Ty. Like, I, I'm not going to go back to his team yet. What are your thoughts on that? On that value? If it's anything under a start 11, 12, I, I mean, I want start the nine. CD, yeah, I want the C D Lamb side of that. Yeah, right. I do too. I, yeah, because he's got I, I like Burrow, Burrow, Kyler, Carr. Like he can he can afford to do that. T Law, yeah. I like Burrow. And I think T Law is probably not going to find an elite outcome, but he's going to be in that quarterback 12 to 16 range more than likely. I'll yeah. take that if you're giving me C D Lamb. Yeah. And then the other option was Burrow for the 103 plus future firsts. It's plural in here uh, to build out for another year. League activity is mid. I, what do you think there, man? Burrow for the 103. Let's, it says plus future firsts, but let's assume one is a 25, one's a 26 at best. If it's 26, I'm a little less, a little less hyped about it. But if you're telling me three firsts and one of them's a 103 for Burrow, like that's, that's a pretty good price if I'm well insulated at quarterback and I know I can do more with those picks. You said league activity mid. So mid. what does that mean? Right? Yeah. Is, is it mid for everything but picks? Because if picks are still flexible right. and movable, then I, I still feel pretty good about that. But again, I don't mind moving off Burrow as long as I have a plan. So have a plan if you're going to do that. Yeah, I, I kind of like the I kind of like the idea of just bird in hand taking taking CD and, and T Law right there. But that 103 yeah. is a nice one too. So here's the thing though. If you have 102, 105, and, and a 25 first, 226 first, like yeah. I, I don't necessarily need 103 and two additional first if I already have the burrow. Man, man, I like Kyler. I, I feel like Kyler, T Law, and C D Lamb fits you a lot better if that's on the table. So I do that. Yeah, yeah. I agree. All right, good stuff, Tanner. I think he was another uh, missing hammer. No hammers left behind, Ty. No, yeah. sir. We'll okay. get it right. We'll get it right. Get it on over. Let me um, let me ask you this real quick, because I promised R. Kelly 521 I would. So I'm going to read this out to you. 10-team Superflex PPR start 10. Burrow, Purdy, and then Javante, Lamb, J.J. Waddle, Higgins, Reed, Marquise, and then Schultz has a 105, mm -hmm. 8, and 9. He's mm -hmm. wondering what to do with the draft picks. Looking at this team, and he did say it's a high activity league. Looking at this team, what are you doing with 105, 8, and 9? I, they're filled out pretty flushly at wide receiver, and they have two elite outcome guys. Um, they need running back, but that doesn't mean I'm going to just plug in a pick for a running back. So I would probably look to do a maybe like a two for one with like that one Oh nine, right. Fine. Fine. Maybe find like a couple running backs that I really want to bet on. Could you, could you get a, a Saquon and uh and a something, you know, like I'm okay making a move like that, but more likely than not, I'm pairing every one of those first onto a Higgins, onto a Waddle, onto a Reed, onto a Marquise. And I'm trying to climb higher up that wide receiver ladder in a 10 team start 10. Right. I, it, I don't need more quarterbacks than Burrow Purdy in a 10 team. Start 10 10, team. Right. So if I can just increase my wide receiver advantage and maybe just get a running back kicked into some deals, right? I, I'm, I'd rather build the running back room that way. So I'm pretty fine just trying to up to your up to your up to your. Yep. Yep. Makes sense in a 10 team uh, start 10 for sure. Yep. I'll have to listen back to what I said at that one, but I, I think it was I think it was similar. It's 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 kind of right there. OK, let's go to Brendan. And thanks for hopping on, buddy. Good to see you. Oh. Love it. Love it. Nice, nice jacket. Uh, Brendan, thank you for the hammer. Appreciate it. It is a 12 team super flex PPR, no tight end premium start 10. Anthony Richardson, Russ Levis at quarterback, Bijan, Taylor, Najee, Spears, Kendra at running back. Wide receivers are London, Reed, Pickens, Mike Wilson, tight end, Michael Mayer, Dulcich, Kraft. Has the 101, 103, 4, 5. 201 and then the 301 mm -hmm. doesn't have his 25 or 26 first. So that's understandable. Coming in of a rebuild and want to compete this year. 
All right. <laughs> it's done with this rebuild, Ty. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's the move with my draft picks here? Thinking about Marvin Neighbors, maybe a Dunze too, and come out with the three best wide receivers. Would you take Daniels with the fifth pick or try to trade back, pick up some extra capital? Says it's an active league. True, Loving true. the content. Thank you. Appreciate it. So it's mm -hmm. a 12-team Superflex start 10. No tight end mm -hmm. premium, Ty. What are you doing? 101, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, so off the jump, I don't mind being stuck making all of these picks end of day. <laughs> yeah, right? right. I feel pretty good about it. I think the fantasy plumber hits it too. It does matter a lot. If this is best ball or lineup. I'm going to assume lineup. Lineup, yeah. All right. So that just to touch on the 105, the Daniels, I'd be much closer to pairing that 105 with a Levis or a Russ and trying to climb higher on the ladder that way. Um, can you get a can you get to up to like a golf, a golf plus for for Levis and 105? You know, something like that where I feel a little golf. better with it. You want to go from Levis to to Goff? I Goff is the first name that comes to mind. Like someone <laughs> like you know, a, a Purdy. Purdy. Would be Purdy. A great I was name. about to say, yeah. If Purdy's on the table, great, right? Like I, again, I don't know this league. I'm assuming they said it's active, so yeah. Like I try to go up there with the 105 versus making that pick, but I don't mind also making the pick. 101, I don't mind going Caleb because again, I think it's a running back, a quarterback room that could need it. But you kind of have needs everywhere like if you're coming out of a rebuild, so. Yeah, 101, 103, 104. If you pencil in those three wide receivers and then you do something with that 105, 201, 301, you can pick up probably another wide receiver, threshold wide receiver, and a, and a running back option at 301. Right. How are you coming out of rebuild with no 25 or 26 first, though? Yeah, it's it's almost like it's almost like you traded up to get to get one of these, you know, one on fours or or something like that. Mm -hmm. Um, thinking that his 25 first is <laughs> He's going probably, for it. It's gonna be. It's gonna be late. Probably a rich London. Probably reach there, maybe. But no, I agree. So, if I don't have any future first, I don't mind also moving that 105 for for you know. And again, I'd still add in that Levis. Hell, like Levis and 105. Give me your future first and something. Right? So like, you don't I, like you don't like Levis, huh? It's not that I don't like Levis. It's that I want to sell him as a starter, and I feel like his ceiling. I don't see his price rising that much more right he's pretty available he's pretty you know I, i'm not i'm not sweating at night if i if i have to give up a levis end of the day yeah i'm sweating like crazy in this uh in this startup i did what's up shane what is good what's up? <laughs> what is good here let me hide this uh hide this overlay um yeah i guess if you want to stay do you want to stay on here you want to you want to bounce ty we if, can if, if you'll have me i'll stay but uh if you want more room on the screen i can also hop right on out of here <laughs> you don't go anywhere you stay i, I need you guys okay. tell me something so this camera or this camera which is better the latter yeah. it's weird you move i don't like know what sideways. that means. i have no the idea second one thank you thank you okay <laughs> <laughs> You're more colorful. You don't look like you're coming out of like a sick home. Yeah. Point, so. Yeah. looks better. Yeah. I, um, I'm taking, I'm taking Caleb just in case, because yeah, Russ and, and Levis, you're, you're not super warm and fuzzy mm -hmm. as those, your other quarterbacks with average. I'm taking Caleb and then, yeah, I'm fine. Smashing, smashing wide receiver mm -hmm. or, or buying one with, with that one. Like, let's say you can get like, try to find a stack or something, but yeah, I mean, if you could buy like a Tyreek with that 105 on the clock, something like this, if you, if you really want to go for it and buy a hammer. So I think it's ready. I think it's ready. Yeah, I didn't look at any of that. We're no, you're good. On. You're good. We're moving on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So let's go to R. Kelly here. So two hammers from him. Is this the same one? Did I already yeah. do this? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I was going to make it. I was going to make it. No, we did. I was gonna make an R. Kelly joke, so yeah, go ahead. Because because I think R. Kelly did give us uh did give us another one coming up too. But let's go to Matt the Moose. Thank you for the hammer. It is a 12 team super flex start start 10 PPR, 1.5 for the tight ends, Kyler Russ Minshew at quarterback, Swift, Connor, Singletary, Kendra Miller, then has Hollywood, Dell, Diggs, D Hop, Dobbs, and then has Njoku at tight ends. The 102, 110, 207, 210, 307, and 25 first. Traded CD for the 102 and 110. The 102, do I go quarterback to sure at my QB room or ride it out? 
who's asking if he should go wide receiver instead. He said, pretty sure the 101 will be Caleb based on that team's roster. So Shane, we'll start with you. 12 team super flex, start 10, very small tight end premium. What are you doing with the 102 and 110 here? Yeah, I'm not comfortable. Is Shane loud? Let's let's make a little, a little, a little loud. Okay. Uh -huh. Sorry. He came in real hot. He came he in hot. Say on this one. How about, how about now? Better? Is that better? Yeah, yeah, better. Okay. Sorry, guys. It, it's all you know. We're, we're oh, working through good. the kinks here. Right. Anywho, well, I am. I'm not feeling like adding another uh, random dude to this quarterback room, like Michael Penix <laughs> or Bo Bofick Nix, whatever his name is. Bo, whatever that's short for. One of the brothers. Yeah, he's terrible. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to go ahead and grab Caleb at uh, 102 and call it a day. I'm not going to get cute. Uh, I'll offer the 102, obviously, to everyone that has quarterbacks that I have ranked above that, and no one will accept it. So then I will draft Caleb with the 102, 110, just BPA, just BPA at that point, which is likely going to be a wide receiver. Yeah. If Caleb's not there, what are you doing, Shane? Uh, no, then I am going to go ahead and take Jaden Daniels, mm -hmm. unless he falls to like 12. Then in that case, I'll take Drake May unless he falls to 15 and then I'll take Jaden Daniels. And if Michael Penix somehow leaps all of them and JJ McCarthy somehow leaps all of them, well then I'll go ahead and take uh, Marvin Harrison. Okay. Would you try to get the 101? Would you give the 102 and 110 for the 101 and maybe something small? No. Or are you not pressed? Nope, not pressed at all. Either way, I, I, here's the thing, you could also <laughs> you could also just go ahead and dra draft Marvin Harrison if you want if he's there. Because it's not like he's not a needle mover. Like he's just as good as a pro just as good a prospect as Caleb is, if not better, right? Mm -hmm. uh, but it right. just seems like you need a quarterback uh, more than you need a wide receiver to me. Um, like, could I use that one ten? He's got how many twenty five firsts? Just one. He says, it says plural. first. Let's let's just let's say he has two. Let's say he has two. I mean, can I use a couple of those and say digs? uh to to tear up at a wide receiver or get another wide receiver i, I could do that sure yeah but if, if if i dealt cd lamb for 102 and 110 i probably did that with drafting marvin harrison jr in mind again i would love that to be caleb williams i would love that because i, I want to add marvin harrison jr i'm fine adding marvin harrison jr but i think caleb is actually the one that moves your roster forward so depend on the plus that i can throw in like if I could throw in 102 and Dobbs and that's enough to get me up to Caleb, like, I don't sure. know. I, I would be willing to do something like that, but I agree. Like, again, if I move 110 or CD for 110 and 102, I'm not then consolidating that further into 101. I feel like I could have done that much easier the first time. Just go straight to 101. Yeah. Here, let me switch us to, should we throw, should we throw us in the, in the overlay? We'll, we'll put, we'll put Ty, we'll put Ty in a, uh, in Scott spot. I think it'll look just lovely. Okay, let's do this. This is me though. Lighting isn't as good in here. Oh, looking looking good, Charles. Chill. Okay, yes. let's go to the next one here. We've got Matt the Moose. Did I already do this? Yes, we just did that. Okay, let's go to AV AVD Weeb. Thanks for the three hammers. Much appreciated, Ty. We're gonna start with you on this one. Uh, 12 team super flex PPR start 10. So this is basically what we go off of with our stock format here. So we have tight end premium, but it's Stroud Richardson Tua at quarterback. It's a nice, nice QB room there. Uh, Ford Roshan and trash cans at running back Nico Reed, Christian Watson, Dio John Wicks. And then at tight end and Joku Ferguson and Kraft has the 101, 201, 203, 301. And he says, dang, what should I do? Split up the quarterbacks or take Marv and then some running backs in the second? It's a mid-activity level league. Ty, what do you think here? 12-team super flex, start 10. Yeah, if I have Stroud, Richardson, and Tua, I don't have a lot of interest in adding Caleb. Um, I feel like you could probably do more. With, like, I got, I'm totally fine. You put a gun to my head. Yeah, I'll, I'll take Marvin Harrison Jr. But I feel like you could probably sell that one-on-one before we're on the clock and really get something more for that that fits your team versus just plugging in that Marvin Harrison Jr. Um, I'm also interested in adding like 101 and Tua and getting an actual like hammer plus back, uh, if I can do something like that. 301, 
two like 301 i'm pretty okay probably taking a running back in that range i'm assuming there'll be something in that range and a start 10 201 203 i'm probably looking at like a, a lad mcconkey a roman wilson whatever those top 50 nfl wide receivers are add a couple more there because i don't think you're getting by with nico reed and watson and dio john like you need a couple more names um right. also totally fine adding a wix and a dio john with some of those picks trying to move up yeah i was thinking like uh i mean Jaden reed he's he's a nice player you know he he projects to to be decent moving forward but he does have a lot of value so can you tack on Jaden reed in the 201 or the 203 or Jaden reed and both of those picks see how high up you can get is that something you consider doing shane's on mute i think but yeah. um 100 I mean, percent. but you were talking to ty so i didn't want to just jump in no so but it looked like it looked listening. like you were trying to jump <laughs> you weren't listening that's fine <laughs> yeah he gave us um he gave us three hammers avd weave mm -hmm. what do you think here shane not taking the not taking the one-on-one -on -one, and basically he's asking should he split these qbs you're all about splitting qbs no, 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 I'm, not, I'm not about splitting these qbs i mean stroud right. if i could sell on the fake value that ktc tells me that stroud has that i have not been able to do in any leagues i'm in sure i'll do it but you can try you know i've tried trading stroud for jalen hurts and anything i've tried trading stroud for justin herbert in a first go for it maybe someone in your league is willing to do it maybe not justin herbert since everyone's afraid that he's not going to throw a pass next year um stroud i would look to move richardson i'm not looking to move i, I mm -hmm. that's a dude i want like if i if i had richardson and jalen hurts that's what i want to do can i move stout can i move stout and those threes <laughs> and go get Jalen Hurts, something like that. Uh, that's what yeah. I'd be looking to do. And then the 101, if I can move it, cool. I'll try to move mm -hmm. to 102, 103, so that I'm in a position, or maybe even 104, that I could get Roma Dunze at worst. Um, I'd like to get Neighbors or Harrison, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 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 My my uh, my priority is is not looking at the at the QB room. It's, yeah, trying to get another hammer. I, I'd like to consolidate and, and get – he, he's just a touch thin he's just a touch thin can't do too much consolidating so i might just put marv on this team drive him off the lot and then um and then yeah keep shopping my my quarterbacks and all of them not just mm -hmm. picking yours like trying to pick two at a shop like put them all on the block see what the market thinks and i i would love to like that tua it, it i i kind of agree with the fantasy plumber like i it does feel like a team you you kind of want to kick it to 2025 20, just keep keep churning and burning to gain some more value i wouldn't mind taking like that tua and like you said that Jaden reed and trying to maybe get like a a christian kirk and a first and, and like a nice first back like i feel you can do a lot more with something like that and then they just build around sure. stroud and richardson right like i don't need that tua and i don't need a quarterback coming back with that tua yeah so absolutely. i think you could probably be much more flexible if you move that to a two is absolute waste. Get him off your roster. If someone gives you a wide receiver two form, I, I don't mean to say it like that. I mean, he's, he's a fine QB two, um, which means yeah. absolutely nothing to me, especially in this circumstance. And like Ty said, I don't want a quarterback back because that's just going to devalue the other asset that I get back. That's more important to me. Would you trade to uh, straight up for like a lobby? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be Shane in this case. I would on this team. I would. I yeah, would. because then you could then you can take. I mean, you still don't even need to take Caleb. You you take trade him for Chris Olave and some body, and then you take Marv on this team too. You feel a lot better with Marv Olave, Nico Reed. Yeah, wide yeah, receiver nineteen just... last year, Olave. Give him some love, respect the Olave. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, I dig it. Ho hopefully that helped. Luckily, he. Um, that's why you build around quarterbacks, right? And you have the one on one in good shape. Okay. Let's go to, you see, I knew there was another R. Kelly one. Shane, we're going to start with you on this R. Kelly. Thank you for two more hammers. It is a 10-team super flex PPR start nine, so a shallow format. Geno Smith and trash cans, quarterback. He has uh, Swift, Stevenson, Zach Moss, and then DJ Moore, Devontae Smith, Addison, Marquise at wide receiver, and then Ingram at tight end. Has the 103, 106, 203, 206, and 7. Sold fields for the 206 and 207 during free agency. What should I do with the picks? Plan to address quarterback and wide receiver in the first round, but unsure if I should make all the picks. It's a mid-activity level league. Shane, 10-team Superflex start nine. What are you doing yeah. here, sir? 
it's start nine. So can I move that 203, that 206 and 207 for like 107, 106? It's I, sure you could take more shots with those picks and your chances might be better to hit because you're taking three shots on some, you know, it's three is better than one, right? It is more than one. I can confirm that. Um, it's just the level of player that you're getting there. I'd much rather take move those picks and get something, combine them and try to get another first round pick personally. Um, again, start nine, one player has more of an impact than uh, in a start 11 or something like that. So that's yep. what I'm doing with those picks. Your quarterbacks are absolutely trash-tastic. Um, quarterback. Yeah, quarterback, yes. Uh, well, I was I was including cans in that because I went from Gino <laughs> to cans. Um, and I'm surprised Dynasty Plumber's not saying, hey, let's get rid of Stevenson Swift and <laughs> Zach Moss because, yeah, we should do that too. Um, Addison, I'd probably be re-rolling him as well. Mm-hmm. Um, everything's for sale just so I can get multiple first round draft picks in this class early as possible. Mm-hmm. So oh, you're, God. so you're beating this thing up, huh? As opposed to trying to take a quarterback at one Oh three or one Oh six and seeing if you can pull this off. Sure. You could, so, you know, let's, let's play devil's advocate. Jaden Daniels at one Oh three, JJ McCarthy at one Oh six, your quarterbacks, you know, and then Gino Stevenson Swift. I, you know, Moss. I like them, but they're not elite. Moss will give you some good weeks, but then you get to the wide receivers. That's Devonte Adams, right? Mm-hmm. I read that Devonta as Devonta Smith. Smith. Devonta yeah. Smith. Okay, so that's even worse, actually. So DJ Moore, who's, I mean, let's be honest, he might not be a legitimate one with Keenan Allen on, in, in tow. Um, Devonta, I like him, but he's not a one with AJ Brown there. Addison, yeah. he's another puppy. You know, he's another guy behind someone else. And Marquise Brown, I, look, you could buy into the hype all you want in Kansas city, but the dude just hasn't done it yet. And I don't really care about the excuses. Yeah. I like the idea of getting another 25 first on this team. Mm-hmm. I mean, can you sell Marquise Brown for a 25 first? Um, Maybe. based off the, some of the comments I got when I trashed him the other night, I didn't even trash him. I, I slightly uh, abused him. Like he was just slightly damaged. You know, the fruit that you can get, it's a little cheaper. Yeah. Like yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah. Slightly bruised, but people were not agreeing with me. Yeah. No, mm-hmm. no. So yeah, you can get a first from somewhere. Yeah. That's, that's worth a, that's worth a shot. I guess on one of those uh, situations where you're not sure which way to go, <laughs> it's nice to get another, another first in your, in your hopper in case you end up having to go back the other way. <laughs> okay. Where to go get a first. Good yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> it's all about liquidity. Okay. So let's go to Jonah with the three hammers here. And thanks to the 601 eyeballs uh, watching us from across the the interwebs here, Twitter, uh, or it's, I guess it's called X now. I'm never going to call it X. I, I don't think so. Hit that like wherever you are on the, the Twitter and the YouTube machine. Uh, easiest way to help out this little channel here. Small but mighty. Jonah, thank you for the three hammers. Appreciate it. It is a 10-team Superflex, half PPR, full PPR for tight ends, start 12. And Ty, you'll go first on this one. Lamar, A. Rich, Baker, Rogers, Russ. Okay, that's a lot of quarterbacks. Kyron, Mixon, Monty, Chuba Hubbard, running back. Wide receivers, Chase, Adams, Debo, DK, Ridley, Addison. Mark Andrews, Ferguson, and Fryermuth at tight end. No 24 picks. Does have futures and a 25 first. Just won it all. Congratulations. Feel like depth is really lacking for a start 12, and I have a lot of players low on ADV, which is artificial dynasty value. Should I move a rich to strengthen receivers and rely on my other quarterbacks, or do I keep two hammer quarterbacks and try to get depth by moving Baker Ferguson types? Uh, where to start? Many thanks. It's a mid activity level, and it is a 10 team start 12 here, Ty. Half PPR. Yeah. So 10 teams start 12. So what, 12 teams start 10? Yep. Right. Uh, I feel pretty good rolling Lamar A. Rich, but again, yeah, I bet you took that Baker, Rogers, and Russ banking that, ooh, I can hoard quarterback, but in a 10-team league, it's it's widely available. So right. I, I'm fine liquidating that for Baker, Rogers, Russ, for whatever you can. You don't need a quarterback coming back. Um, yeah, I mean, you have a good team. Kyron, Mixon, Monty, Chuba, that'll play. Chase Adams, Debo, Metcalf, Ridley, Addison. There's enough there. I'd love to pair Ridley and Addison and see what I can do. Can I climb higher? Um, 
Ferguson and Muth are probably dead weight on your roster because you're not pressing start over Andrews, and they're probably not finding their way into your lineup in a start 12 with the other options you have. So would love to do something where I'm pairing like those that Ridley, Addison, Ferguson, Muth together. Get some get some picks back, you know, get relevant players back, I guess. You'll be fine. Just freak it a little bit. <laughs> just freak right? it a little just freak bit. It yeah. A little bit. yeah. Yeah, and and like Ty said, with all the with the ten team and all those quarterbacks you have, if need be, Ty, are you just taking a little bit of a loss if necessary, just uh just to work on your roster construction? Like you'd be willing to sell Baker at 80, 80 cents on the dollar, attaching him to something to get a better wide receiver. You yeah. okay doing that? I mean, it feels like you're you're hurting yourself a bit because you're you're. What are you holding out for? What price are you holding out for? What spike are you holding out for? It's probably not coming for them. If someone right. wants one of those assets, that's the window. That's for me. the right, right. So exactly. if, if if we can help each other, they can get a quarterback, feel good about it, and I can actually get something I can use because I'm not punching them in over Lamar and A. Rich. And if one of those guys gets hurt, then there goes half my chances at winning. So, yeah, you know, Shane, what are your thoughts here, man? Ten teams start twelve, basically a. 12 teams start 10 super flex. Hey, Rich. Hey, Lamar. Love that. 10 teams start 12. Yeah. Ty already did the math. That's 120. Uh, that's less than normal, right? No, 12 by 10. Same difference. So actually, it's about a normal league. Mm-hmm. I, I'm moving like Ty said. I think he said because I wasn't listening. I'd move Rogers. I'm moving Russ. Uh, Kyron, I'm just I'm just testing the market. See if anyone wants to pay like 106 or, or more for him. Other than that, I'll hold on to them. But I do love the running back room. I mean, Kyron, Mixon, Monty, Chuba is really good. And then Cans, wide receivers. I mean, what's there I'm, to do I'm there? Just, yeah, I'm just putting this up there because it says like, feels like depth is really lacking for a start 12. Yeah, we're all shaking our heads there. It's, yeah. I mean, he's, he's fine depth-wise, right? Yeah, I mean, honestly, you look at Debo, Metcalf, Ridley, Addison, those are depth wide receivers that they happen to be, you know, wide receiver twos, threes. um, And some of them will spike wide receiver one weeks for you. But with Chase and Adams at your at the high level, like you're fine, dude. Depth is not a concern at all for me. I don't I don't think depth depth is remotely an issue. Now, does it suck? You're not going to get a draft pick in 24. Yes, because those are fun. But like Ty said, can you move Muth to someone? uh, Based on the half point tight end premium and someone thinking he's, you know, worth more or good just good uh do that maybe you can get a late second rounder and then you get the pick i won't worry about depth at all 12 yeah. is a bigger number but it's really not and it's our 10 or a 10 team start 12 like it's real right. you don't need depth you really don't you have what you need yeah. and that is hammers keep getting hammers you're going to be fine yeah i'm trying to sell baker for like a 25 first or something see if yeah. see if somebody will, will give you that it's worth a yeah. worth a shot mm-hmm. the flexibility there okay Let's go to Connor. Thank you very much for the hammer. Appreciate it. Start with you here, Ty. It is a, it's another 10 team super flex start 12, two tight ends. And it is a 1.75 for tight ends. It looks like 0.2 point per carry. So every rush attempt is 0.2 and then six point per passing touchdown. So yes, it is a 10 team, but it's got lots of bells and whistles. So that's cool. Lamar Stroud backups has Bijan, Saquon, Henry, Spears, CD, Alave, Waddle, JSN, and wide receiver, Andrews, Pitts, Fant, and Otten. Pick-wise, 102, 106, and then has the 201, 205, a couple 25 firsts. Feel like I need another hammer wide receiver. Try stick and pick Marv slash neighbors at 102, or I have offers of, okay, here we go. Here's some offers, Ty. Give the 102 and 201. Get Amon Ra. Okay, John. <laughs> Check. <laughs> Next one. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're 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 doing that, huh? Yeah. You're just going ahead and grabbing. Yeah. I, I, mean, just, I just got a top bird in hand stuff. Five wide receiver. Top top five dynasty wide receiver. Maybe six after the draft, but he's still there right now. Yeah. And then this is give 106, get Pittman and a third, it looks like. I think that's a, I guess question three. Like I, I can do the same thing at one hundred six. I don't need to make that deal today. I can hold on to that. Yeah. And then give one hundred two get Puker or Garrett Wilson. I mean, rather give the one hundred two for Amon Ross St. Brown. Right? It becomes a player thing. But 
I would rather go Amon Ra. Yeah, I've already made the trade. Wilson. You've yeah. already, yeah, yeah, you don't, you don't have that one or two yeah. anymore. I don't even yeah. have one or two. Yeah, so if it's on MFL, like it's just sitting out there, and he goes and looks at it, and it just says that, uh, you know, Amon Ra is no longer this player, yeah. this this yeah. owner no longer has the one hundred two. So you have to recall <laughs> it because MFL doesn't cancel the trade out anymore for some reason. Yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, hey, hey, if I still have that pick in pocket, though, if you're saying that I can get Puka for 102 or I have to give an extra 201 to get Amon Roth, I'll gladly take the Puka. And we know how Shane feels about Garrett Wilson. So, um, no. but yeah, I mean, I mean, this roster, same format, but that, that 106 is interesting because, I mean, I don't know if Bowers makes it. Bowers has got to be gone. Two right? tight end at a tight yeah. end premium. Yes. So you're probably looking at a neighbors or Odunze at 16, anyways. So if I can if I can go and get that hammer, yeah, I'm pretty pretty excited about that. And that's also why I don't really yeah. need to move Pittman for one six. That feels like you're buying high as is, and you can probably right. do the same thing at one six. So yeah. Okay. Sounds good. I think we nailed that. So we have 665 eyeballs. Thank you for watching. Reminder to hit that like. 45 minutes in here. We'll just do uh we'll just do a couple more. Okay. Let's go to Jonas Cosmos Graham. <laughs> yeah yeah thank you for the thank you for the hammer shane uh do, 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 do. what is this number, number of starters, starters other? other what is what other. are we supposed to do with this other well, it's super roman relaxed. roman was probably looking at it and was like i have no idea i'm just gonna put it in there clay clay's gonna read whatever's on the screen like fucking like freaking ron burgundy uh okay so super flex ppr start 11 we're gonna we'll go say with, we'll say we'll say twelve team. We'll say a twelve team. Yeah, Watson, Baker, and three trash cans. <laughs> Warren, Zach Moss, Zamir White has JJ Amonra, Puka, Garrett Wilson, Wicks, Wandale, and then has Pitts and Ingram at tight end. Has the 101, 102, 105, 6, 7, 8, and three twenty five first. Gave. Okay, let's see. Gave Burrow, London, Nico, Christian Watson. Got Amon Ra, Puka, and a 25 first. Nice. What to do at quarterback? Stick with Caleb plus one other rookie. QBs are hard to trade for unless you give up a QB that has certainty. Mid-activity level. Shane, what are you doing here? We're assuming it is a 12-team Superflex start 11. Yeah, so this is one of the few times I might be okay with grabbing a two quarterbacks. Uh, here so 101 yeah i'm going caleb 102 obviously marv at that point it's an embarrassment of richards at wide receivers so i look i'm not a guy that's ever going to pass up on talent but definitely quarterback would be more of a need there uh i know he said quarterbacks are hard to trade for i wonder could i give up the 102 a 25 first and watson and get to somebody that's established can i get and not just established like like mm -hmm. Jalen Hurts is apparently the only has to be all the way up there. Yeah, 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 no, 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 yeah. And if I can't, then okay, that's fine. Then you know I'll go ahead and draft a uh, probably one hundred and five. I'm guessing Jaden's there, hopefully, or Drake. If not, JJ is. Um, but you also have the one hundred and eight, so there's a good chance JJ will be there. So yeah, I'll take two quarterbacks out of this class. Not a problem. Definitely would do that. He's got five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, in I addition just, to 101 and point, 102. Yeah, and at that point, quarterback's an actual need, right? Because you have Watson, Baker, and uh, Cans. So that could go real south. You know, that could have been Baker's career year for all we know. Watson could, that could have been uh, the new reality for him, what he was last year. I don't think it is, but it could be the case. Yeah, this this team could totally smash and already has 325 first. Like you can you can buy a, buy a ship here. Right. You can buy a ship. All right. Thank you, Jonas uh, Cosmos something. Uh, Stan A, thanks for the hammer. Ty, it is a 10-team, first one QB of the evening. Half PPR looks like it is full PPR for tight ends. Start 10. So 10-team, one QB, start 10. T-Law, Cousins, hi -ya. Brees, A-Chain, Kyron, Connor. And then at wide receiver, Amon Ra, Garrett, Waddle, T, Addison, JSN. Kittle at tight end. 203, 208, 306, and then my 25, second and third. The question is T for the 107. Any moves to win now? It is a mid activity league. What do you think, Ty? 10 team, one QB, start 10. What is what is one seven and one QB? Uh 
I, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna take T because I don't want to do that math in my head, and I feel like T is gonna be probably better and probably more flexible than Ad Mitchell, uh, Troy Franklin. I feel like T is yeah. probably gonna be more, more, more flexible than that at that point. I'm taking T if that's the yeah if that's what you're looking at. I, I would rather take T Addison JSN Waddle Kittle like take all those cats and try to do something else with them and just aim for the 107 alone. Yeah, I mean, I, I could see since the has the what is it? No, okay, I, I was reading it incorrectly, but yeah, I'm not trading T for the 107 in a, in a one QB. I'm I'm trying to trying to do cooler stuff, right? As opposed to acquiring a dart throw. What do you think, Shane? Uh, let's see, 107 in a one quarterback. I've done many of these mocks, um, and I cutting off the top of my head tell you who the hell is at 107. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll take T. I, I, I don't remember who's at 107, but I'll take T. Yeah, I think we're devaluing T too much if we're starting to take 107s over him in mm-hmm. a one quarterback league, which in a super flex league would be, let's see, let's add four quarterbacks. So that's the 111 right there. Um, I might take the 111 over T. I'll say that. It's different, though. It is different, even if the picks line You'll up. take the 111 over T? You're I talking might. about in, in super flex? In super flex. I was oh, just got it, got it, got it. the super flex in my mind. Um, in case yeah. we go to a country that only speaks Superflex, so that's where I went. But no, I think I'll hold on the T instead of the 107 here. Yeah. Just make it a Superflex 25 first, and we're all happy. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, this team is this team is right here. Could use an, uh, like a true hammer at quarterback, but yeah, in in good shape here. I'm not uh, that 107 is probably going to be Caleb because someone loves to take Caleb early and want a quarterback too. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, but you have T Law and Cousins. Like you have enough in one quarterback. Just yeah. keep T. Yep. Okay, and our last one is going to be a uh, a very generous donation. A very a lot of hammers. Thank you very much for seven hammers. JN fourteen up above. Let's see. No, now, real quick, I just want to cut you What's off. Up? Let's tell people what seven hammers is, entitles you to. It entitles you to some alone time with me. Mm-hmm. Anything goes. I don't have any. Yeah. I don't, you know. <laughs> And I believe this the contract says yeah. I have to take clothes off now. Yeah. Right? Is that, yeah. that's, that's how it works? That's the rule. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. And um, right under me, you see patreon.com forward slash all gas. Uh, you, that's almost a couple months worth of our, uh, of our Patreon and our Discord, uh, where you can get as many of these answers as you want all day. But again, thank you very much. Much appreciated. It is a tie. We'll start with you here. 10 team super flex start 12. Two running backs, two tight ends. It is half PPR, five point per passing touchdown. Shane's favorite. Kyler, Caleb. He's already got Caleb on his team. Trash cans. He says he has B Rob, Monty out running back. JJ, Marv, London, neighbors, Tyreek, Pittman, Dell, Zay. And then has Andrews, Goddard, and Bowers. I love how he's already got all mm-hmm. these players on his team. Uh, so he's got all those rookies with the 101, 102, 104, 6, and then has 325 first and 326 first. It's mid activity league. Running back room sucks, but I don't feel like overpaying for risky hammers because wide receivers will drive my points. I'm most active manager on waivers. I bet you are. If my older threshold wide receivers are healthy close to the playoffs, I'll consolidate slash sell if it makes sense. The playoff teams last year wouldn't driver weren't driven by hammer QBs. Last part, QB threes have been liquid and affordable, so I'll get one when the time's right. He says, I feel uncomfortably content and I want humble pie from you pros. General advice at this point. Thanks. So 10 team super flex start 12. It is too tight end. Go ahead, Ty. Ty, what do you think? Yeah. So I I, lo- I I really want to stop myself from penciling in players into picks before I'm on the clock and have to make that pick. Because I think when you start already putting in, I have Caleb, I have Marv, I have Neighbors, I have Bowers, it does make it harder to part with those picks in my in my mind, whatever that means. I agree. If you're if gun to your head, you have to make all these picks, you're leaving happy. You have a you have great pieces to build around. I yeah. agree. You can probably build out that running back room. But I mean, if I have JJ, well, Pencil and Marv, London, Tyreek, Pittman, Dell, Zay, and five threshold options in a start 12, 10, 
can we not do something different with like that one four? Right? Like can can we can you go get a Gibbs or a Bijan with that one four? Right? Like can you go and get that running back hammer? Right. Yeah. Or so, something along those lines. I'd rather do that than just compound interest at wide receiver where I get I get to the point where my league mates are looking at me and saying, Well, okay, good luck. We're not taking any of them off your hands. You you've built it, now you have to deal with it. So Instead of penciling the players in, I'd be more flex. I'd be a little more flexible here. Um, can you add one six, one four to Kyler and go get a Josh Allen type, right? Can you can you get that one oh four, one oh six? Go get like I said an Amon Ra plus, right? Like something along those. I think I'd rather go that route, where I'm not just adding more and more names to this and feeling like I need all the depth in the world in April. I guess when you make those picks. So we're we're sure this isn't just a Devi depleted draft. He he's just penciling in these names. I I, th- I think he would have. Uh, yeah, I think he would have specified that. So yes, he's he's penciling in these names. He's typing them in. Yeah, I mean, exactly what Ty said. All right, where? How do I get Gibbs? How do I get a chain? How do I get Brees Hall? How do I get Bijan? Um, there's a time to buy running backs and your build. And guess what? You've hit that time. Uh, that time is here. Uh, you have absolutely monster wide receivers. When you look at, uh, just look at the first three out of the first four and then four out of the first five. And then you throw London in there who everybody is high on hell. Can I move London for Jay, uh, for Gibbs, uh, based on him being the wide receiver 10 in dynasty right, right now? Um, I, that's what I would look to do if you don't want to move any of the picks, <clears throat> but like, honestly, one Oh six, I'd be sending that for a chain. Or uh, 104, I, I would shoot for Gibbs. Like, I, I'm okay with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you got all the options of the world. Go yeah. ahead, Ty. We got Jan in the crowd here, too. He says, he, you know, are they? Oh, cool. I, I felt a little too stubborn on the any running back on a 53 front. You know, at least we only have to start two. And I mean, that's probably why you're able to build a team like this is because you've yes. prioritized running back and, and done it elsewhere. So you've built a monster. As Shane, like, said, this is a don't F it up roster end of the day, right? But I think that you can do more with those picks than just picking the picks, even though it's yeah. really, really fun to pick those picks. And if the concern is, well, I'm not going to get Caleb Marv or neighbors elsewhere, join a couple more leagues, hop on over you know, like, patreon.com slash slash all gas. You know, we got yeah, some exactly. You. Exactly. And yeah, I, this is another one of those teams when you have this stack team and all those picks and all those future picks, don't you feel like this is that team in the league where everybody's like, Oh, I just don't want to trade with this guy. So when I see this, either nobody wants picks or I want to show that I'm willing to sell them. And it doesn't have to just be my six, can be my four. I don't know. It can open up the open up the market a lot. You have 325 first and 326 first. No matter what you do, like you're, the floor is so high on this team. It, it's it's, it's you know. nearly impossible to screw this up. The only way you screw this up is you go, you know what? I need Jamar, so I'm going to give up. Marv London's in two, neighbors. four, six, right, or something like that. Like that's the only way you could screw it up, and not even just doing that once. Like you'd need to do that twice, and then you're like, "Oh <laughs> shit, I gave up six assets for two really, really good ones." Yeah, but still just two assets. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna leave this. Uh, I'm gonna leave this banner in here, and we'll just have Scott weigh in on this as well. Uh, seven hammers. So I'm just gonna hold on to this. Okay, and we have one more Pierre. No hammers left behind, and his was left behind. Shane, last one of the evening. It is a one team, okay? <laughs> He's a defending champ. Uh, it is a 10. Uh, are we going with 10 team? One I'm gonna, super flex. It's start one. It's a one team league. <laughs> super flex, start 10. So you only play yourself. So this is just like... This is for your own self-confidence. It's like, I did really well this week. I won again. I'm undefeated. Next year, I might go into two-team league and see, you know, really cut my chances down. I'm going to go I'm gonna go 12-team because yeah. it is a 0.75 tight end premium. That just tends to, to correlate there. We're going 12-team super flex, start 10, PPR, 1.75 for the tight ends, six point per passing touchdown. Josh Allen, Stroud, Baker, Levis, AOC. Solid. Mostert Singletary, a 12 pack of cans. That's awesome. DJ Moore, Pickens, Nico, JMO makes a list, and Joku at tight end has the 106, 206, 306. 
league has a toilet bowl and trade deadline. And he says, I know the question was trade Levis for Minshew and the one of seven. I think I can get Do more it. after what? Oh, okay. Trade Levis for Minshew and the two Oh seven. I think I can get more after the draft when a lot of current starting QB jobs are in jeopardy. I'm not doing that trade personally. I'm not, I don't know. Uh, Levis is a wild card for me. He really is. I, he could be like a total value spike guy. I have no interest in trading him for an inflexible Minshew and a, and a 207 unless the league loves that 207. What do you yeah, think? Rick? And here's the thing with your quarterback situation. There's no rush to move him especially to get Minshew back. I don't care about Minshew. I'd be yeah. like, well, what can you give me without Minshew if I was going to do this? But you have Alan Stroud and Baker. So before you'd even ever have to start Levis, you just don't need to do this deal. So, yeah, I'd, I'd much rather hold on to him, uh, see if Tennessee adds any more offensive firepower in the draft. Who knows? And maybe more. Levis, <laughs> yeah, more. Levis's uh, stock continues to grow or just, you know, the normal narrative when we hear about how he's in the best shape of his life. And uh, he'd been really working with his wide receivers and they went to an island together and they're going to mm -hmm. they're all going to be best buds and they watch film. The island them. narrative. Yeah. 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 So no, yep. no, I'm not making this deal now. Absolutely no reason to. Yeah. I, if I'm moving Levis on this team, like, like I think 207 is like a good price to buy Levis at. Like that feels pretty close to about what's possible. I don't want Minshew back. All right. Like <laughs> Minshew does nothing for my team here. So right. it's like, you can keep the 207, but can I get Levis for a threshold wide receiver? C can I get Levis for, I don't know, a Rashad white? Like uh, running yeah. back in that range, right? Something that can actually really help my team there. Like I feel better about that. I don't, if you're moving Levis or Baker for that matter, if Baker has more of a market than Levis, don't, you don't need a, run, a quarterback back. You can pick up cans. Yeah. You have AOC as well. Like you don't, you don't need a Minshew. I, I'm not, I'm not trading for Minshew for the hope that I can trade him for more later. That's not the bet that I'm making. Yep. Yep. Okay. Boys, that is uh that is all for the evening. Ty, Shane, thanks for hopping on. I was going to be doing this solo. You notice that my my headset doesn't turn off when there's multiple people on. I don't get it. When I'm solo on StreamYard, it just turns <laughs> off. Like, what the hell could be the reason? It doesn't make any sense. I don't know. Anyway, thank you to the 752 people watching. Happy, happy, happy Friday evening to you. Hope it is a lovely one. Shane, you have a lovely smirk on your face. Would you like to say bye, Shane and Ty? Bye, Shane and Ty. There we go. Yeah. Bye, Shane and Ty. <laughs> All right. We will see you on the next Hammer Stream. I think we're going to try to do one on uh, on Sunday. And then back to regular scheduled programming on Tuesdays. Uh, yeah, no guests in the in the near future. So just back here. Charles Chill himself will be in Ty's spot. But get your roster reviewed. Uh, Ty, Ty is doing his peer-to-peers, -peer, crushing it there. Roster review at DynastyTradesIn5.com. Email that. Shane and Scott are doing a bunch too. This is when we start getting a lot in the hopper, as you can imagine, with rookie drafts. So I would send an email, roster review at DynastyTradesIn5.com. Or you can see the options if you go to DynastyTradesIn5.com slash roster review. We love you all. I'm going to end this stream. Appreciate it.